Hey everyone, this is James, the Nugget Hunter, from James's Gems. So I, today I figured I should do a little experiment video, because I don't 100% know myself, and I figure you guys can learn with me. So right now, we are making our Copper Bloom Chalcanthrite Crystals. So here is a container full of a saturated solution of copper sulfate. In here, we have clean, plain water. So right now, I'm getting some seed crystals to be able to start some new stones. So how I do that is I take a stone I'm willing to sacrifice, and I'd basically pick off some crystals so you can pick some off there scrape them off and I'd end up with some chunks and then you could put that onto a new stone into copper sulfate and it'll end up turning into a full stone but that I know how to do. What I don't know, and I always tell people, is copper sulfate, when it turns into a crystal, it's called chalcanthite. When it's chalcanthite, or all chalcanthite, is a water-soluble crystal, meaning it is one-third by volume or weight water, the crystals. So if you take the water out of the crystals it can't be a crystal anymore it'll end up just like a blue powder uh, alternatively if the chalcanthrite or the copper sulfate becomes wet in a solution that's not copper sulfate it'll melt thus damaging the crystal so today, let's sacrifice this beautiful crystal here. Well, it's not the most beautiful as they can be, as you guys would know. But I'm going to take this crystal, put it in that water. I know it'll end up looking like that. But what I don't know is how long exposed in a cup of water would it take to melt this stone. I often tell people I don't actually know. All I know is don't put your chalcanthite in a cup of water because it will destroy it even if it has a coating. What I don't know is how long. So right now I'm going to put this in. Just tape it for a few seconds and I got to stop the video to start a timer because I didn't plan ahead, sorry. But I'll keep track of how long it takes and we'll do another little video or a few shots and see the progress of what would happen if you put your chalcanthite crystal in a cup of water. That being said, there it is. So that does have a coating on it, but the coating isn't enough, I don't think, to save it, especially for a long period of time. So you can see all the air trapped on all the bubbles. So far the water isn't going blue. Bet you the more you agitate it, the quicker it would be. But I'm going to stop this video right now. Make note of the time. Let's see how long it takes to completely dissolve this chalcanthite in a cup of water. Imagine it'll end up looking like that with a rock in it. Well, it's one minute it's been in the water, and I can already start to see the water getting a bit of a blue tinge. So far, the crystal doesn't really look too melted. Let's take it out real quick and see what it looks like looks pretty because it's all wet 
Now you can see those crystals are still uh, pretty sharp. But you can also see the water is starting to go blue. So let's put that back in. Check on it in three or four minutes. All right, it's only been three minutes. So the chalcanthrate crystal that is coated sitting in a cup of water. I think you can see the chalcanthrate is dissolving underneath and it's making all the clear coat bits float to the top. We do use a water soluble clear coat just a clear latex based water water latex based uh, clear coat all right give it a few more minutes and we'll pull it out all right it's been six minutes now you can see how that water is no longer clear so all sorts of the clear coat on top I'm not going to disturb it yet. Oh, you can see it's still bubbling. Well, I just sacrificed a couple. I got lots of seed crystals. So basically, I can take a piece of this and start a new one. Probably use some of these nicer ones. Nice thing with copper sulfate is, you know you can just put it into water and melt it to help make new ones, or let new ones grow. Well, it's not completely melted yet. You can see it's still certainly a crystal in there. But let's pull it out and have a quick look what it looks like. It's hard to focus. Well, it's still got faces on the crystals, but it is definitely starting to change. Oh, yes, look. You can just see all the malachite on the host rock. So all the copper sulfate is being worn away. All right, let's put it back in. Keep that timer going. If you want to bet at home, now is your time to place bets. It's probably been about seven, eight minutes now. We'll check on it in another five or so, see how it's at. Look at all the clear coat. You can just see all that clear coat floating to the top. Maybe, let's see, I could probably take a spoon. Get rid of some of that. Let's just throw that in the sink. I'm gonna clean up some of that goo off the top. Well, we're 10 minutes in. I scooped some of that clear coat off the top so you can see in there better. You can see the clear coat coming off of the crystals. All right, it's been 20 minutes now. You can still see there is crystal in there. We can also see how that water is by no means clear water. But you can tell the coating on the chalcanthrite definitely protects it. If you were to accidentally get it wet real quick, it would certainly protect it. I actually thought this would melt a little quicker than it is. Well, 20 minutes. Let's see how it is after 30. You can still see crystals in there. Well, it's been 25 minutes. Scooped more of the clear coat out so we can see in there. Gotta say, this is the clear coat I use. It's just a water-based clear 
cheap spray paint in a way. It is protecting the crystal much more than I thought it would. Let's pull it out and have a look. Oh, oh, I felt it all get soft. It just all fell off the top of the rock. So it just let go of the rock as I grabbed it. You can see the beautiful post rock it's on. But yeah, look, I can, can I pick it out? No, it's still on there, but. Oh, look, see, it's coming off. Melting away. You can see that big chunk of crystal in there. Let's pull that out and have a look. What it looks like. So that just came off the rock. Look shiny on camera, but I'm looking at it and it's definitely melted and yeah well that's why we coat our chalcanthrite so they can be handled moisture in your hand isn't really gonna hurt it if a cup of water takes half hour for it oh look it's just dissolved like breaking up. oh yeah look it just broke apart my hand so you can crush it and it'll just break into individual crystals oh well now we know I would say roughly half an hour Maybe 40 minutes. If you left your chalcanthrite crystal in a cup of water out in the rain, that's what would happen to it. Bonus is, I got a nice new rock to start some more crystals growing. Pick one of these, put it back into the solution, let it do its thing, and hopefully within a couple days, we'll have another beautiful crystal. Alright guys, thanks for the watching the experiment with me. Now we know what happens to chalcanthrite, your copper sulfate, that's coated if you were to drop it in a thing of water. Don't think I'll be reusing that.